This documentary you're about to watch is about a man who hails from Ijabu Ode, Ogun State, Nigeria. The Ijabus, as they're popularly known, are a very large race and an integral part of the Yoruba land. The Ijabus are known to be influencers, originators, and definitely humanitarians who seek positive change in the society. Ailing from that suburb is Adekunle Olushegun Ogunkoya, described as a unique man and a strong go-getter. Jawush is a man of many parts, many abilities, many capacities, some subtle, some obvious, but is a man that is very resilient. He may try to hide his energy, but he's a man full of energy. He's a man with tenacity. And he's also a very caring person and uh, kind. To me, the way I know him, there's nothing that he can't give. And he used to give to people. He used to help people once they are in need. And he loved taking care of less privilege. I watched him carefully as a young man growing up. And I found him to have some very sterling qualities that I admire in young people. He is a very simple, quiet person, very reliable and very dependable. He's pretty quiet and seems to understand what he wants. Mr. Kunle, formerly known as the Negro, who later became Yahush, very brilliant, very humble, handsome guy, more handsome than he is now. And uh, he's a, he's a, he was uh, the, the ladies' uh, person in those days. And um, uh, you can have any dealing with him, with you sleeping with your two eyes, without you thinking that uh, somebody's going to stab you from behind. I have been with him for quite a while, and I know him as a good person. He's a man after God's heart, and he deeply cares about the well-being of other fellow human beings. It's a wonderful person. It's a generous person. He's easygoing. He's a good listener. He listens to you very well. And he never gets angry. I've never seen Kule get angry. Adekunle Ogunkoya was born into the family of late Jacob Agbolade Ogunkoya, the sage, and Ibironke Ogunkoya ni Oguntuyo. Popularly known as Jawush, Adekunle Ogunkoya attended Oli Trinity Methodist Primary School, Oimil, Lagos. He later then attended Adiola Oduntola College in Jabu Day in 1973 and obtained his YX certificate in 1977. Jawush further attended Government College Odogbolu from 1977 to 1980. He later went on to study agricultural economics from the University of Ife, now known as Obafemi Awolowo University, OAU, where he obtained his bachelor degree in 1985. As a businessman, Jawush is regarded as a man of intellect with great business acumen. He is termed as a leader and a good strategist and has the ability to get things done when necessary to yield positive results. He likes to take his work easy. Do it at his own pace, at his own beat. And when he's not ready to move and you try to move him, you're on your own. But when he's ready to move and you're not moving, you'll find that he's gone far and you have to keep chasing him. So he's a man with peculiar work ethics, work style. He's not the average boss, as we all know in this uh, environment. I see him more like a teacher because we're both into construction and you know our work is quite practical so he gives you guidelines on what to do and at the same time he gives you freedom to express your knowledge and to express your skills to a large extent he gives um, direction the best way possible for us to succeed at work he's a very kind person he's nice um what thing that actually attracted me to him is the way he builds houses. He builds very nice houses. 
his taste for excellence is very high. Um, one of the properties that God has given us, he actually supervised the refurbishment and everything and it was beautifully done that up to today, nothing stands out in the house to be corrected. I remember when I was living in the mainland, they would come early in the morning and stay with me for morning till night. He's the one, I would say that he's the one that influenced the architect of this house. He's the one that says, Banji, you have no business staying at the mainland. When I said, I don't have money, he said, okay, you know what? Just buy the materials for the house. I will supervise it for you, free of charge. And that was what he did. And when we move in, the first set of chairs that we used in the house, Jaoj provided those chairs for us. He has been a wonderful, wonderful friend. I do a lot of business with him. He's a very honest and humble person. Yeah. Often now we still do business when we have to. He's a very brilliant and uh, humble and straightforward person. He's a nice person to do business with. Even when I told him, we still see ourselves. We've been together as far well as 1973 when we were still together. It would have not been, if there had been an issue, probably we would have fell, fell apart. So what there is say, he's a very good person and humble person. When I was into uh, fish business and I had issues with a place to carry my business, he offered his personal property in Ijora to assist me. And many a time, he allowed the wife to travel far and wide to celebrate or have ceremonies with us whenever. Aside work, Jawush is said to have a commendable social life during his youthful days, and he usually stands out through his dress sense, which portrays how fashionable Jawush is. <laughs> In Odobolo, we used to have what we call social nights. Some Saturday nights that we go to parties, school parties. Not every Saturday. So, but we would know that Saturday that we're going to have a party because on that Saturday, we will see Jawush in a different dress manner. He will brush his uh, heavy hair backwards and put on a cap, ready to blow it out in the night. So once we see him dress up like that, yes, we knew that there was going to be a party that Saturday night. So yes, he's a very fun-loving guy, party-going guy. But with age now, I believe he's mellowing down. And then also, his, his type of party is changing. So he needs to slow down. Jawush is regarded as a go-getter and someone who does not subscribe to failure. He is always at the wheel to succeed and do what is best for him, which people often mistake as Jawush trying to be stubborn while he was much younger, not knowing he was preparing himself for a greater future. But with all his stubbornness, you know what he's doing. When others are playing, they can go and fight or whatever. Once he returns home, he always reads his book. He never bowed down for failure because he know what he's going for. And with this, we just thank God that he proved himself when getting older. Only a Mukoya and a uh, Negro, that we used to call him, uh, was, um, I won't say, maybe stubborn when he was at home. He could play around, but he, he knows his way. He knows what, uh, what he's looking for. So he's highly calculative. So he knew why he was in school, so he knew what he wanted to do. But he would still play around and still do what he wanted to do. He would come as late as 11, 12, midnight, still come around and start it. He was a very brilliant person. I remember him, he was the third most brilliant person in our set in those days. In those days. Because we belong to the 73, 77 set. Adekunle Ogunkoya is indeed a family man. He married his wife, Omolara Ogunkoya Niojo, on the 4th of May 1989. The beautiful couple have four male children, Olumu Rewa, Ola Oluwa Keton, Oluwa Fiyishola, and Oluwa Tonilopa. I will not tell you that it's love at first sight. I was just, I was just looking at him, say, ah, this kind of boy that, that looks unserious. I didn't even take him seriously, but you know, as time went by, I just saw that he was persistent. 
and then one thing led to the other. We left school. We even went our separate ways, Steph. And we've been married now. It's thirty years. He's a family man, but you know, he's not. He's not. The, he's not the kind of person that goes around to boast about what he's able to do. It's just that, you know, with time you can see that he's planning. He's um, sorting his family out in a very, very good and quiet way. He wants, he wants to get something for me. You know, not the, like somebody wants, somebody is doing birthday, for instance, now. Maybe the husband will say, okay, I'm giving her a ticket to go and spend vacation in Las Vegas and do that. My husband will not do that. He will do something more, but he will not talk about it. He will just come. It, it will just. It will just make it come to you as a surprise, and he takes his his children's welfare, the family welfare, in fact everybody's welfare. He takes it seriously, and he knows how to settle everybody. He settles the family, the extended family, the cousins, the sister, the brothers, the children, without anybody, you know feeling that, oh, he's doing more for this and he's not doing for me. You know, everybody is sorted and in a very quiet way. I feel like a lot of the attributes I picked up while growing up, I picked them up after growing up and reflecting on uh, the childhood. One of which is he's, he's really a family man. He made sure that he was always a part of the childhood. You know, um, I mean, my fresh memories of childhood would be him always taking my brother and I to go swimming, when we were very little, you know, training us to swim, training us to play lawn tennis. You know, he, he really carried us along, you know, and um, even in studies, you know, he would always make sure that, you know, we come up with the best results and whatnot. So that's one, one character I would definitely take for him, which is make sure to always be a part of your child's growing up. He always, you know, taught us to believe in oneself, that you don't have to know anybody to get things done. And if you have this opportunity, you have to strike it hard and make sure you make something out of it. And it's somebody that like encourages people, allows you to make your mistake, and he believes you're going to learn from that mistake. I can say that he's been the best father and the most amazing friend that I could have ever hoped or wished for. Um, every moment. I've spent with him, honestly, it's been memorable. We have this room in our house, we call it the blue room, and like, um, yeah, my family members will definitely know what I'm talking about. And you know, there'll be moments in there where my dad and I are watching Chelsea versus Arsenal, you know, and then we're just um, bantering with each other, and we're just, you know, throwing insults at one club against the other. You know, in those small moments, you know, he always throws in one or two priceless advices for me. So those are definitely one of my most memorable moments with the celebrants. He has taught me to be a man of my words, to never go back on whatever I say. And he has also taught me to have like an open heart, to, think, to care about others and not only myself. And he has also taught me diligence that whatever I want to do, I should do it well, no matter what other people think. As I his family, Adekunle Ogunkoya has a very good relationship with God and he is a good Christian. He is a member of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG, where he is the current chairman welfare committee and also the patron choir for the church. Jawush has also been linked to being a prophet. Mr. Kunle has been a foundation member of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Christ the Lord Center Parish. Uh, he was indeed one of those that actually uh, constructed the church, built the church up. Kunle belongs to quite a number of groups in the church. Notable amongst them is the Welfare Committee. And the Welfare Committee takes care of the needy in the church. He is one of those that has supervised that department for quite a long time, and they've been able to do excellently well. One of the programs, Mr. Gukoya, which I can talk is ministry, and which I'm happy today is the Arise, Arise and Shine program, which is uh, interdenominational church service between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m. in the morning. He's always there. He was the pillar. I mean, he has always been the pillar of that program. 
and I, he's committed. And he, he has, if you want to have an appointment with uh, Mr. Ogunkoya, just make it 705 and at uh, the church premises. You will see him just coming out of the Arise and Shine program. And he has been able to ensure that that program stands the test of time. Mr. Ogunkoya, as I know, is a person that loves God. And if you just ask him anything about what to do to the house of God, he's always ready to do his part. You know, when I was growing up, he told me that, uh, Demola, you have to make sure that you don't leave them behind. You drag them along. And if you fail to do that, you'll be surprised that the stress and pressure is going to be on you. So he told me that many, many years ago. And I'm grateful to God that to a large extent, I was able to to do that so you know with the benefit of hindsight i just imagine what if what if i hadn't done that i definitely would be under a whole lot of pressure now but in everything we give thanks to god he's also a humanitarian with good interest in neighborhood improvement from lawn tennis table tennis scrabble chess motivational activities especially with the youths he's somebody that is giving to the welfare of people he doesn't want to see people being cheated. He's a fortright human being. He will not condone any evil. If he sees one, he will condemn it right from that uh, moment. He doesn't condemn that. And um, he's been very, very honest. And that's one of the reasons why I'm attracted to him. He cares. That's one thing about Mr. Kunle Ogunkoya. He's somebody who cares about the wellness of people around him. He doesn't want anybody around him to suffer. And he will do anything possible to support people in times of need, in times of, uh, as well as the younger elements in the church and all the rest, to make sure that they are doing well in their chosen career or in their education. So I think uh, his uh, contribution is significant in the area of care and welfare. Kunle Shagu Ogukoya is a member of the Ikoi Club 1938 Lawn Tennis Session. He is also the chairman Heritage of Virtue, a registered non-governmental organization. The teams are categorized into two. We have the, the, the boys from age 1 to 45. Then we have the middle one which is, we call them, the B category. He belongs to the B category. Why I belong to the B category and equally the veteran. So in the B category, he's very, very active. He plays in all tournaments. He's always playing for his team. So I, too, play for my team. So he's always active on the platform. And he plays good tennis. A man of the people, a family man, a good businessman, a moderate and enjoyable social life, and most importantly, a man of God. 60 has never looked any better. To more grace, joy, and many more prosperous years ahead. At the sound of the day, congratulations, happy birthday to you. At the sound of the day, congratulations, happy birthday to you. Oga, I would like to wish you a happy birthday, long life, good health, prosperity. I am celebrating Kule as my friend, as my neighbor. I wish him long life and um, to always be there for us. I want him to be as long as, um, as old as our mom. My wish for Jawush will be to live every day of his life in happiness and the days to be in form of decades. God has been with him, and I know he will not depart from him at this time. I wish him good health, because that is the source of all our joy. I wish him long life and prosperity in the years to come, and good health. My entire family wishes him a happy birthday. We also wish him many happy returns of this glorious day in divine health and prosperity. By the grace of God, and if Jesus tarries, he's going to celebrate his 70th, his 80th, and his strength will never abate by the grace of God. I pray that God will raise men and women 
that will make you to fulfill your destiny in Jesus' name. My sincere desire for him and his entire household is that the Lord will bless them, the Lord will enlarge his post, the Lord will enrich his life. Um, the Almighty God will do glorious and great things in his life. A batting day, so that's okay. I wish him the very best. And uh, I, I pray for continuous uh, God guidance for him. Um, he should have any, every reason to thank God. And I pray that he should continue, or he will be thanking God in every, every day to day activity of his life. My wish for him is that he remains the amazing father he's always been. Um, I wish for him longer, longer life than um, we can all imagine for him. Greater health, you know. Um, he's made, he's very health conscious, and so he's he's made sure to be extremely healthy at his age. And so, I I wish for him to continue on that journey and to be as healthy as possible for the next 20, 30 years. From the family of the Odeons, we wish to say happy birthday, Ole Ogukoya. Oh, I wish him the best of luck. More grace to his elbow. He will grow from grace to grace all the time. I pray that he continues to spread this love and positivity to not just myself but everyone around him. So I would love for him to live forever or at least another 60 years. I wish you a long and prosperous life. Um, I wish you good health. Uh, I wish you good fortune and I hope that one day that us your children can make you proud. You know. I want you to look back on your life and I want you to say that yes, you know, I had these children and they made me proud. I pray for him for good health and sound mind and he pray for loving God more than any other thing in life because the wisdom we have today is from above and I pray that we really rely on his maker than people around him. I be fair or I be care. Olo worry I be care. Any be or call me. Any fair me. Any thing you mean do. Any story me who. Last if I. Any thing you mean do. Well I'm going to be cool. Any thing shock off on me. Today I'm she baba da da fan wa mo me. Thing shake mo fan wa blue eh. Today I'm she blue fan wa egbo eh. Inu ya do ya yo ya kuo. Oh ni ba wa kuku a wa kuo ni gbojo lo jo lo. Oh, ni shoku o ni yoku inu adun kale gbogbo ibi to ro okan ore se ati bi to ro de oluwa se ju be lo fun e o on this is your 60th birthday i wish you plenty of sunshine beautiful things that you have you are yet to see no matter how beautiful the things you have seen in the past are the ones that lie ahead of you they will be more beautiful and more glorious Happy 60th at Dekunle Ogunkoya, aka Jawush. Any happy